Oh, okay. Okay, I think uh, sound is no problem. So I welcome you all in this session of uh, foundation course, and uh, this session is uh, the last session for. And in this session, we will take three hour class, say three three part. First one is the viscous flow within enclosed surface part one, part two, and part three, and. And beta, in this one, what we have to discuss, we discuss the fluid flow within the closed pipe. That means within the closed pipe. That means the fluid is uh, flowing through a pressure difference and the fluid is a viscous. The fluid is a viscous. Thank you. The fluid is a viscous. So today is the first part of this one. Before uh, starting this part, uh, discussion of our, why the flow within the viscous fluid flow within the closed curve of a viscous fluid is important why because beta, if you design any pipe yeah, any channel yeah, a, yeah anything matlab that is closed surface not a channel that is a closed surface so we required a power so we have to require the extra power to maintain the flow why we have to require the extra power why because there is a viscous flow why we have, why because there is a viscous flow so due to the viscous property we have to require the designing pumping power how much the length discharge average velocity all the things okay so <coughs> before starting this uh, lecture i want to share something information about the ims features what what is that beta we have a dedicated classes for 25 26 okay and that there is a some features there is a some features what if you join the IMS live classes, live online program, 800 plus hour of a live classes with a live interaction is there. Theory book, exercise book, and in this exercise book, 4,000 plus question available and 34 plus year of good get question bank with a video solution. This is a very unique features. We have a video solution. And the motive of the video solution is that if you are not understand the some difficult problem, the video solution must be help you to understanding the solution of that particular question. Now, and other there is a unique features of IMS. What is that? 12 personalized one-to-one -one mentorship program, and 130 year, 130 plus online tests with a video solution and mock test and many more. If you want to know more about that features you can free call for the counseling on this number which is displaying here okay and one more thing is that you can also connect with the with ims with your telegram group so what is the unique features of a telegram group these are the free cost the unique features of a telegram group is that we have a all the schedules what are the schedules on white uh, youtube session that schedule will up, update it on the telegram group all the lecture which already uh, just today let's suppose today i will finish the lecture that lecture pdf will be uploaded on the this telegram group and important update re regarded the seminar webinar all the things and also the important notification of the all the psus and government sector job related to the technical and experts session for the important topic if there is a, if there is a, any topics let's suppose i want to discuss any topics on youtube so all the uh, information will be available on this telegram group and daily queues also there is a very important thing daily queues is there okay so these for this one you can join this group okay now my dear let's start the today's topic let's start the today's topics so we have to uh, worry about that what is the unique things today we will learn the unique thing is that beta flow within the closed pipe what is that flow within the closed pipe closed pipe that means it is not a pipe closed at both end that means a closed continuous con uh, uh, closed part enclosed surface flow within the enclosed surface you can say that flow within the enclosed surface that means let's uh, if you design a pipe and we want that the we have to require the design the pipe what is the diameter what is the length all the things so for that one we have to require the information of this chapter what is that beta before that there is one thing is that which is very important student get confused what is that <coughs> friction coefficient friction coefficient this is very important thing to understand 
the properties of the flow within the enclosed surface friction coefficient what is the friction coefficient see this friction coefficient is denoted by cf and this is your non dimensional number this is your non dimensional number related to the wall shear stress related to the wall shear stress that means non dimensional number quantity related to wall shear stress related to wall shear stress related to the wall shear stress that means if if you define this friction coefficient if you define this friction coefficient over the any surface you have to define the wall uh, you have to define the wall shear stress at that location that means this coefficient of friction we have to find through the shear stress that means the wall shear stress at any location of the product it is not by the throughout if you find the throughout you just integrate that that means is defined shear stress is defined by shear stress is defined by shear stress at any point at any point let suppose x x is the any point that means if you if if you understand like that ki sir how will understand these things we have to take any surface solid surface let suppose we have to take any solid surface okay this is your solid surface and let suppose the fluid is flowing fluid is flowing with average velocity v fluid is flowing with average velocity v now so if you take if you find the wall shear stress so this but this is a ex external kind of the flow okay so we have to find the wall shear stress if this is external this is your external okay external flow we have also defined for the internal flow so this is wall shear stress at any location so this is your at any location let's suppose x this is your x is equal to 0 and this will x is equal to l length of the plate and this any location so this is tau wall at any location and mind it when the fluid is flowing over the external surface over the external surface the wall shear stress will reduce that means at that point wall shear stress more that and after the we are moving from leading edge to trailing edge the wall shear stress will decrease that means the wall shear stress is also function of the x that means the length of the plate so if you find the if there is any location tau x so if you find that this is your x distance from the leading edge so what is the local skin friction coefficient cfx this is your wall shear stress at any location divided by dynamic pressure half rho v square dynamic pressure this v is what this v is what this v is your if you take the pipe a close in close surface this v is the average velocity and if there is a external flow the v is the uniform velocity before touching its surface that means this your average velocity average velocity in which sense for internal flow internal flow and this is also uniform velocity uniform flow you can say that for for external flow external flow okay sometime this is called 
समाइम दिस इज कॉल्ड लोकल स्किन फ्रिक्शन कोफिशियंट एंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वाइल वी ऑल्सो डिस्कसिंग द कन्वेक्शन चैप्टर दिस इज कॉल्ड एवरेज लोकल स्किन फ्रिक्शन कोफिशियंट कॉल्ड एवरेज लोकल स्किन फ्रिक्शन coefficient this is also called average local skin friction coefficient and if there is a flow over the flat plate this cfx by the blasius equation is your 0.664 local reynolds number r e x pe power minus 1 by 2 that is equal to tau wall by half rho v square this is your expression of this friction coefficient local friction coefficient so from this one if you see that this friction coefficient local friction coefficient is your related with the root under x that means it is the related with the if you remove this arenol's number rearrange with so this local skin friction is related with the x that means if x will increase under what situation x will increase if you are moving from leading to trailing edge x will increase this coefficient of the friction skin friction coefficient will sorry decrease will decrease that means from the leading if you draw the diagram of cfx along the flow this is your decrement that means along the flow this c f x will reduce so along the flow c f x will reduce also the shear stress will reduce also the shear stress will reduce why because shear stress is a directly proportional to c f x so for the external flow for the external flow along the plate the shear stress decrease also the local skin friction will decrease and boundary layer will increase yes or not and boundary layer will increase if you take the boundary layer so this is a kind of a boundary layer so remember this things beta this is very important i'm telling you this is a very important things so if you write if you think that so oh, so from this point there is a boundary layer so this is a boundary layer so if x will increase if x this is your delta if x will increase delta will increase if x will increase local skin friction will decrease if x will increase the wall shear stress will decrease so remember this three parameter what is that for the increment x if x will increase from 0 to x what is the things boundary layer thickness will increase local skin friction will decrease wall shear stress will decrease okay wall shear stress will decrease clear this is the important things if you have to remember this is the effect of effect of the flow parameter along the plate that means flow parameter along the plate like skin friction coefficient will decrease boundary layer thickness will increase and wall shear stress also decrease so always remember wall shear stress and skin friction fact skin friction coefficient have a same nature have a same nature okay so these are the things now <coughs> now for the pipe if if this is this is a friction factor analysis for the external flow if we have a internal flow mind it and the flow is a fully developed what mean by the fully developed what is mean by the fully developed the flow is fully developed that means once it will develop the fully that means if once the development is fully there is no further momentum will increase along the flow direction that means the net force if you taking the any fluid element on the net force on that fluid element is zero that means that means 
acceleration is zero. That means fluid is not accelerating, not decelerating. That means acceleration is not in uni there is a constant velocity. That means the profile after the fully development, the profile of the velocity is constant, no further decrement. So, if you study that laminar fully developed flow, viscous laminar fully developed flow, this th there are three parameters. So, we have to study is viscous laminar fully developed flow fully developed flow. So, these are the parameters viscous laminar fully developed flow we are studying. So, what is mean by the fully developed flow? The fully developed flow that means the momentum along flow direction is zero. If the momentum will zero, that means, that means fluid have zero acceleration, zero acceleration. If the fluid has a zero acceleration, the velocity of the flow of flow is constant, is constant. And once the fully developed flow is occurred, at the first, at the starting of the fully developed flow, boundary layer will merge, will merge. That means, once the boundary layer will merge, after that the development is fully and the fully developed flow that means fluid is full of the cross section is viscous. So, this is a viscous and there is a laminar. Okay. So, who decide the flow is laminar or turbulent that will decide the critical number which is less than equal to 2300 that means the flow is laminar otherwise it is a turbulent. We will discuss this thing, no problem. So, if there is a pipe, if there is a pipe, how to define the skin friction coefficient, that means friction coefficient is equal to wall shear stress divided by dynamic pressure, half rho and if this is your V average, this is your average velocity, this is your average velocity. Okay. Now, <coughs> why because the see my dear, what is the pipes matlab close flow within the enclosed surface that means pressure drop pressure drop very important pressure drop along along the pipe the pipe that means dp over dx this is a pressure drop pressure drop so pressure drop along the pipe why because when the fluid is flowing through the pipe the pressure will drop the pressure will drop that means this that means uh, uh, the pressure drop along the pipe that means the gradient will balance pressure will drop that means delta p will decrease this is must so the gradient this is your pressure gradient very important pressure gradient the pressure gradient when the pressure is drop so the pressure gradient is balanced by the balanced by the viscous shear stress. This is very important balanced by the viscous shear stress. That means, the pressure gradient 
must balance the wall shear stress wall shear stress that means when the fluid is viscous laminar and fully developed there is no any further increment in the velocity that means the momentum along the x direction is a zero flow direction zero what is the consequence the consequence is the sir yes the pressure will drop and this drop of the pressure is due to the viscous flow this drop of the pressure is due to viscous flow fluid have a viscosity so energy will loss so pressure will drop so pressure will drop but the gradient drop dp by dx along the x direction is must be balance the wall shear stress that means this pressure gradient will balance the wall shear stress that means the pressure gradient doesn't change along the flow direction that means though the fluid is flowing through a decrement pressure but the gradient is constant why because that gradient is balanced by the viscous shear stress yeah wall shear stress clear that means the gradient dp over dx along the x direction will constant but the pressure will reduce so if you find what is so this pressure gradient is balanced by the wall shear stress in the fluid flow through a control volume how to develop the mathematical model how to develop the mathematical model so to develop the mathematical model let's suppose we have a control volume let's suppose <coughs> Let's suppose this is our control volume beta. This is our control volume. Let's suppose this is our control volume. Any control volume of any system. This is our control volume. This is what? this is our control volume very important analysis very important analysis this control volume is very small and its thickness is delta x let's suppose its thickness is delta x and in this control volume if this control volume is moving in like so this control volume is there let's suppose this control volume fixed yeah moving so this control volume the fluid is flowing and that fluid will exert a wall shear stress on the control surface on the control surface so here let's suppose in this direction there is a wall shear stress so this wall shear stress over the periphery of the pipe over the periphery that means if you find the force viscous force due to this wall shear stress so stress is equal to force by area so whose area is responsible the circumference the periphery the circumference okay so <coughs> what is this tau wall this is also very important what is this tau wall beta this tau wall is your wall shear stress of your you here here you can write no problem this tau wall is wall shear stress from the wall from the wall onto onto the fluid within control volume so this will exerted wall shear stress from the wall onto the fluid element so this is acting by the wall to the fluid element 
so it is in this direction if you act by the fluid element to the wall it is in right side so it is decided by which you have to take in which uh, which is you have to take you are taking from the uh, analysis of control volume yeah, you are taking from the fluid element so if there is a fluid is there there is a fluid result so fluid will exerts on the wall it is in this direction so shear stress from the wall onto the fluid element into control volume okay now and let's suppose this is our analysis x axis and this is r is the any radius okay <coughs> and that is your total radius r so for what is the pressure will exert at this surface in this direction so this uh, pr pressure is p what is the pressure will exerts on this surface according to lagrangian uh, according to uh, Taylor's expansion P plus do P by do x into delta x. Yes or no? This is the pressure. And this pressure will exert on this surface, and this pressure will exert on this surface. Now, this is the equilibrium. This body it is in equilibrium. That means the net force is zero. Why? Because we are discussing it is in fully developed. We are discussing in a fully developed this is element it is in fully developed that means there is a no any momentum will change that means velocity is uniform that means the acceleration is zero that means net force it is zero on this element that means force balance force balance of tau wall what is the force valence for the shear stress? Tau wall into area. Area is what? 2 pi r. 2 pi r into delta x. Y negative? Right. Left side. And this is also minus. Minus change in net change. Dou p by dou x into delta x. And it will act on this cross section. That means pi r square. Yes or not? And this is equal to 0. Why? Because there is no any momentum will increase. If we rearrange, so tau wall is equal to minus r by 2. And here, this pressure is the function of x only. So this partial derivative will convert it into absolute derivative dp by dx. Why because, why because pressure is the function of x only, pressure is the function of x only. So, beta, see this one, before a statement what you have to discuss, this pressure gradient must be balanced by the wall shear stress, so that the net momentum along x direction is zero in the fully developed flow. So, <coughs> this wall shear stress is balanced by this pressure gradient. Okay. Now, my dear, why this is negative? Why this is negative? Why this is negative? See, the direction. See, why this is negative? See. So, here if we rearrange dp over dx, this is what? Minus to wall shear stress divided by r okay no problem at all now this wall shear stress is constant yes or not but in the plate on the plate external surface flow over external surface this wall surface is stress is varying this wall stress is varying but in the fully developed flow this wall surface is constant very important so this wall surface is constant in fully developed flow. Why? 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 Because this stress is depends upon the viscosity and velocity gradient. Yes or not? Yes or not, beta? Velocity gradient. And viscosity is the property of the fluid. This is fixed. 
and in the fully developed flow, velocity gradient is also fixed. Also fixed. Why? Because the velocity is not further changing in the fully developed, velocity is not changing. So, there is a velocity gradient is fixed. So, velocity gradient is fixed, viscosity is fixed, so wall shear stress is fixed. But in the case of the flat plate, flow over flat plate, velocity gradient changes. So, that the wall shear stress is changing in the external flow. This is very subtle concept I am telling you. So, in the case of a closed pipe, in the case of an enclosed surface, wall shear stress is constant, but basarte hona kya chahiye, flow hamara fully developed hona chahiye. So, what is the unique characteristic of the fully developed flow? The characteristic of the fully developed flow, the velocity not a further increment, increase or decrease, the velocity gradient is fixed. Yeah, it is 0, you can say that it is 0, no, not it is 0, but fix, you cannot say that velocity, see velocity it along the x direction velocity is there, but not changing. So, velocity in the x direction that means u d u by u that means see the velocity in the x direction let us suppose u x with respect to x is constant, is constant, it is not changing. Okay, no? So, this is your fully developed flow. So, wall shear stress this one this is constant. R is the radius of the pipe, it is constant. So, dp over dx is constant. That means, pressure gradient x is fixed. Clear? That means, the pressure gradient, pressure will change. Pressure will change along the flow direction, but the gradient is fixed. But the gradient is fixed. Okay, now. We will discuss this minus sign, no problem. Now, <coughs> if you take this one, now we know that the, what is the skin friction coefficient C f in the pipe. That means, this is your what? Wall shear stress divided by half rho v. V is what? what uh, v is this one. What is the, this v? V is the average velocity. Very important. Average velocity, it is not a C. See, my dear, I will give you one subtle concept for this one. See, if this is your pipe, let us suppose this is your pipe, it is your pipe. So, in the pipe, there are three type of velocity. First one, the velocity which is tried to before entering to the pipe. that is called uniform flow. So, this is your uniform flow. That means, all the layer have a same velocity and it is denoted by, let us suppose any velocity u. And this u is the same uniform flow, it is not changing. This is not changing, that means, all the velocity have a same velocity. Flow which is try to enter. Now, once it is enter up to a certain distance, up to a certain distance, where the up to that the two layer boundary merge at this point the velocity will change why because this is a core region so within that one the velocity will increase so here it is constant here it is increase and after once boundary layer merge the velocity again maximum but fix and here increase and this is maximum and again it is fixed in x direction, x direction velocity is not changing. Velocity will change only in, uh, uh, see at this point, at this point in this section velocity, velocity is the function of radial direction, this is your radial direction r and this is your x. So, velocity is the function of x and r, yes, velocity is the function x and r. Here is the, here it is a not a velocity will change along x and r, that is your uniform. But in this case, max, after fully developed, this is called fully developed. So, in this case, fully developed velocity is only function of r, only, not x. So, fully developed flow 
is also a one dimensional flow this is very important fully developed flow is also so these are the developing flow and this is a developed flow so developing flow is a two dimension and developed flow it is a one dimension and the change it is in radial direction and there is another velocity which is your average velocity so average of this one matlab we have to assume like that at this cross section the velocity is average that is your v and other velocity it is your maximum velocity here this is your maximum velocity v max yeah u max you can say that so there is a relation between the average velocity and the maximum velocity so this is your average velocity okay this is your average velocity so average velocity is there no problem at all <coughs> now if you put the wall shear stress here what is the wall shear stress wall shear stress is minus r by 2 dp by dx so here minus r by 2 dp by dx and this quantity into 1 by half rho v square so what is the skin friction coefficient cf is equal to minus r by rho v square into dp by dx clear so this is skin so this minus will depends upon this minus will depends upon the shear stress what we have the shear stress we are taking so this write down direction of the shear stress if you take the shear stress on the system by the fluid it is in positive x direction if you take the shear stress by the system on the fluid element this is in negative direction so this will de depends upon this condition so minus sign depends on the sign convention for wall shear stress sign convention for wall shear stress okay now so these are the some analysis now my dear <coughs> if you take this is your pipe let's suppose let's suppose we have to assume this is a horizontal pipe initially we have to take horizontal pipe maximum this is a horizontal pipe okay let's suppose this is a horizontal pipe okay and we are discussing about the fully developed flow not a developing okay so this is your axis of the pipe one second this is axis of the pipe along the flow along the flow and this is your x dire uh, x direction let's suppose perpendicular to that it is your radial direction perpendicular to that it is your radial direction r direction okay and this is the radius of the pipe r this is the radius of the pipe r so r is equal to 0 this is the center and r is equal to capital r is your pipe so what is that here boundary condition r if r is equal to 0 that is your center of pipe yeah we have right here no problem there is a 2 so here r is equal to 0 and here r is equal to capital r so there are the two boundary condition okay why because in this case the velocity is not changing only the velocity will change in a radial direction so we have to take a radial boundary layer now we have to prove that the velocity if you draw the velocity profile 
if you draw the velocity profile my dear over any cross section draw the velocity profile over any cross section during the fully developed after the fully developed this velocity is zero at wall due to the no slip condition and at the center and at the center the velocity is maximum at the center the velocity is maximum and at the center the velocity is maximum let's suppose this is maximum velocity and if you join this two one it will be a parabolic in nature it will be in a parabolic nature and this velocity profile is the function of r only not x r only okay now if you find this one and if you take average of this two you take average this is your average this is your average this is your maximum so this is your u max okay this is your maximum velocity and this is your v average average velocity and we have a relation between these two why because all the calculation we are taking with respect to the average condition okay discharge pressure drop all the thing okay reynolds number okay so <coughs> we have to find so the velocity profile at any radius r it is your if you derived it force balance r square by 4 mu dp by dx into 1 minus small r square by capital H. After the force balance, if you balance the force, you can easily find it, no problem. So, if you try to rearrange this one, minus r square by 4 mu dp by dx into r square minus capital R square by capital R square. This R square at this R square is cancelled. And if you take <coughs> this one for me, you, you can take right first right like that. So, u is the function of R. Uh, what we have to write? We have to write like that dp by dx into this R R cancel, this R R cancel with uh, this R and this R cancel. R square minus small R square by 4 mu. Yes or no? Yes or no? Now, my dear, see this one. See this one. This R is ma maximum and this R is minimum. That means this R is the at a wall and this is at any, but any point. So, this, this is always positive quantity. Yes or not? This is always positive quantity, yes or not? This is always positive quantity and due to R square, this positive quantity is a parabolic in nature. What is that? Parabolic nature. Parabolic nature, a square, quadratic term. So, this is your positive quantity, parabolic. So, the velocity is always in the opposite direction of the pressure gradient. So, the velocity, pressure gradient. So, the velocity, this velocity is always opposite to the pressure gradient. Pressure gradient is opposite. Why? Because pressure gradient is uh, supported to the wall shear stress. So, mm -hmm. so, what is the negative? This means by, this negative means by, so, What is the pressure gradient and what is the velocity that, why because this is positive and both have a minus, but both, that means both have in opposite sense, both have in opposite sense. That means, 
velocity is always in the opposite direction in the opposite direction to the pressure gradient yes or not see the velocity why because this is the negative sign this negative sign the meaning of this negative sign the meaning of this eh? negative sign that means the velocity what is the velocity is there that velocity it is in opposite direction of the pressure gradient okay and what is the direction of the pressure gradient beta is there anyone tell me what is the direction of the pressure gradient what is the direction of you just it is have a direction please tell me Okay, why this pressure gradient is negative? See, x will increase along the pipe, pressure will decrease. To maintain of this negativity and positivity, we have to put here negative sign. But what is the physical significance? Always it will move minus that means high to low the gradient sign that gradient sign is high to low so velocity is always opposite to the pressure gradient okay now then we have to find the average velocity what is the average velocity what is the average velocity we know this thing average velocity is 2 by r square integration 0 to r u is the function of r r dr you know this thing i know that you know this this is the, the calculation of average velocity now if you put this u is the function of r if you put this u is the function of r in this equation integrate it you have this equation then that means minus r square by 8 mu dt by dx you can directly find this will be average. This is your average velocity in the pipe. Put this u is the function of r, u is the function of r, differentiate it. This dp by dx keep outside. Why? Because this is constant. Keep outside. So, this is the average velocity. Now, <coughs> what is the maximum velocity? What is the maximum velocity? The maximum velocity if you put value of r. So, what is the maximum velocity? So, from here this is equation number this is let us suppose this is equation number first. This is equation number second. This is equation number second. So, from here you can easily find dou p by dou x no problem. And now combining first and second if you combine first and second if you combine first x first and second what you have to combine put dou p by dou x here rearrange it rearrange it okay this is your average velocity this is any velocity but it is not a maximum velocity so what is the first we have to find the max this is not a first equation first find the maximum velocity what is the maximum velocity if put u r is equal to capital r that means wall this gives the max no if u r is equal to 0 at the center this gives the maximum and what is this maximum beta what is this maximum velocity put r is equal to 0 that means minus r square 4 mu dou p dp by dx that means minus r square by 4 mu dp by dx now so this is the equation number let us suppose first and this is the equation number second combine this first and second first and second if you combine you have to feel like the u maximum the u average v average is equal to u max by half see the beauty for the pipe fully developed pipe that means 
the average velocity average velocity is half of the maximum velocity so you have a maximum velocity you can find average velocity too and calculate accordingly calculate accordingly now come to the pressure uh, coefficient, skin uh, coefficient of friction so what is the coefficient of friction then here the coefficient of friction is minus r by rho v square dp by dx now we have to take here dp by dx from in this equation from this equation we have to take average term so from this equation you have to take dp by dx in the average so dp by dx is equal to minus see minus 8 mu by r square minus 8 mu by r square into v average now put dp by dx is cfx so skin friction so what is the skin friction minus r by rho v square dp by put here dp by dx in this equation so cf is equal to minus r by rho v all average this is your average this is your average all value are average okay now into minus 8 mu r square v average so this average one average and this one average cancel out this one r this one r is cancel out so skin friction coefficient cf is what 8 mu by rho v and this is your average r rho v r <coughs> okay this is done now if you calculate this is your skin friction now my dear what is the reynolds number to define the reynolds number as a diameter so rho v average d hydraulic diameter for the circular pipe it is d by what mu so here you have to find here this v this v and combine it that means if you take this one this is your 2 rho v r by mu now you have to arrange it rho v r you have to take rho v r and you rho v r and 8 mu divided by cf put one so if you rearrange it combine this two this a and this b combining a and b combine a and b the value of c f is equal to 64 by r this is very important relation for the analysis in the pipe that means this is what laminar circular pipe with fully developed clear now now if you plot the graph of cf in re taking a log log so let, let's suppose we have to take the log one that means we have to take like that log of cf is equal to log 64 minus log of re yes or not minus log of re so beta c we can write log cf is equal to minus log re plus log 64 so this is what let's suppose this is y and here m is equal to minus 1 x is equal to log r e c is equal to log 64 and now you have to plot y is what y is log c f x y is what beta log c f and x is your reynolds number log of r e so these are the straight line y bar over mx plus c and slope is negative and intersect 
y axis intercept log 64 so this is your log 64 and you have to draw like that that means the gradient of this line straight line is equal to minus 1 and this is a straight line this is your straight line clear so this is your log log graph this is your log log graph okay ta? so <coughs> this is clear so these are log log graph now there are few minutes time four minutes we have to take one another concept pressure drop pressure drop pressure drop that means delta p delta p is the pressure drop and why we have to require the pressure drop in the pipe analysis why we have to require in the pressure drop that means power requirement that means power requirement of the of the fan or pump to maintain flow to maintain flow that means if you maintain the flow we have to require the power of how much the power we have to install or pump so that we are required we have to maintain the fluid flow the fan will require in the gas and pump will require when the pipe is handled with the liquid okay so let's suppose this is your pipe this is your pipe my dear here is the average velocity, uh, all the calculation with respect to average velocity, this is point 1, this is point 2, let's suppose the length is L. So what is the pressure drop? This is your diameter of the pipe is D. So what is the pressure drop beta? So what is the pressure gradient first? dP by dx. So dP by dx is fixed. So this is your delta P, that means delta P pressure drop divided by the how much the length is L? What is the delta P? P2 final pressure minus V square by L. Clear? Na? So this is your pressure drop. You have to calculate like that. Where you remember this thing? Okay. Now, if the flow is laminar, flow is laminar only. For the laminar flow, if you calculate the pressure drop, you can calculate delta P is equal to P1 minus P2, higher pressure minus lower pressure is equal to 8 mu L V average divided by radius square. You can take also in the form of, so this is you have to do. convert it is in diameter so diameter 2 to 4 64 there is 64 is okay. so this is pressure drop during the laminar but it is not that the always the flow is laminar it may be turbulent so there must be a we have to calculate so this is a pressure drop how to calculate the pressure loss so if you calculate the pressure loss loss delta p l this delta p l is equal to f l by d into half rho v average uh, square you know this thing this is your pressure loss this is your pressure drop this is your pressure loss very important so this is a pressure loss. So, how, what, how to calculate head loss? How to calculate head loss? We know that head loss is equal to pressure loss divided by rho g. So, what is what you have to do? F 
L by D into V average square by 2G simple. So, this is your head loss. This is your head loss and this is very important. This is your very important. This is for laminar turbulent circular non circular smooth rough everyone okay everything you can apply it okay beta we'll take after uh, tomorrow the numerical part up to that thank you bye bye